friction. Just friction is not a chapter. It's a small topic in laws of motion, right? Right? It's a small topic only. But I'm giving your choice amongst these two. So what is your choice? Just type in, the, in your comment window. Friction पढ़ना है कि constant relations पढ़ना है. Type करिए. Be quick, please. You have an option, right? Exercise it. ठीक है. One thing I want to tell you. Even if your choice is not big, even if I'm not exercising your choice, don't be disheartened, right? I'll be sharing a video. The recorded session of the topic which you have chosen, if your exercise, your choice is not exercised, right? Suppose you have chosen friction. Constraint relation का मैं video आपको recorded session with my maths, I sent it in the WhatsApp group, I uploaded. So please you can learn from there. तो दोनों पढ़ोगे, एक recorded है, एक live है, ठीक है? तो पढ़ाऊँगा मैं तुम्हें दोनों, तो don't worry about it, right? So friction is a natural choice every time. एक ही बार ऐसा हुआ है कि friction को कम vote मिले थे, वो भी एक vote कम मिला था उसको. But friction is a choice. So let's start with friction. Okay? So first of all. Now, see, please make notes, huh? Please make notes. Write your uh, doubts, write your doubts, and keep asking your doubts. You can chat with me. You can chat with me. I'm keeping the chat open. So, uh, please make notes and ask your doubts. So, what is friction? I'm studying. I'm asking you questions. 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 I'm How many of you thought that friction is a force which opposes the motion of an object? Type I in the comment window. Friction motion को oppose करता है कितने लोगों को पता है? कितने लोग ऐसा सोचते थे? Honestly, है ना? To please change it. Friction is a force which opposes the, either the relative motion when there is actual splitting between the two bodies or or the tendency of relative motion. Right? अभी होता क्या है? Okay, just check. So here, this is one block. This is another block. Right? Please pay attention. And if you find any challenge, any difficulty, you are free to ask. ठीक है? So this is block A and this is block B. Block B is kept on a frictionless horizontal surface. Right? And there is friction between block A and block B. So, velocity of block A is two meters per second with respect to ground, and velocity of block B is three meters per second, right? So, what is velocity of block A with respect to block B? It's velocity of block A with respect to ground minus velocity of block B with respect to ground, right? So, what is velocity? Let's say this is x-axis and this is y-axis. Velocity of block A with respect to ground is two i cap meters per second. Velocity of block B with respect to ground is three i cap meters per second, right? All of you understood till this point or not? Just type yes or no. Please be quick. Thank you so much. So now I do the subtraction. Velocity of A with respect to B. क्या होगा बेटा यहां पर इट्स 2i कैप माइनस 3i कैप सो इट्स माइनस 1i कैप राइट सो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एन ऑब्जर्वर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एन ऑब्जर्वर ऑन b विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एन ऑब्जर्वर ऑन b a इज मूविंग इन द बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन यस और नो रिलेटिव मोशन ऑफ a विद रिस्पेक्ट टू b इज बैकवर्ड्स यस और नो बेटा वीडियो को कुछ ड्रैग कर सकते हो यू कैन योरसेल्फ ड्रैग द वीडियो पूर्वा वेदी व्हिच पार्ट यू डिडंट अंडरस्टूड वी एबी यू अंडरस्टूड द रिलेटिव मोशन और नॉट पूर्वा पूर्वा आर यू अवेयर अबाउट रिलेटिव मोशन अंकित गुप्ता यूनिट स्टैंडर्ड प्लीज तो तुमको रिलेटिव मोशन नहीं आता है अंकित वीएबी वीएजी नहीं आता है हां तो अब बेटा ये तो निकाल सकता मैं 12 पास वालों को थैंक यू सो मच बाकी और कौन है ये 11th का फर्स्ट चैप्टर है ठीक है काइनेमेटिक्स का कांसेप्ट होता है रिलेटिव मोशन वेलोसिटी ठीक है कोई बात नहीं एंड पूर्वा सर प्लीज कैन एक्सप्लेन रिलेटिव मोशन अगेन पूर्वा आर यू अवेयर ऑफ वेलोसिटी और नॉट वी आई कैप जे कैप यू आर अवेयर ऑफ दिस और नॉट फर्स्ट टेल मी दिस ओके ग्रेट सो यू अंडरस्टूड दिस जस्ट कीप टाइपिंग यस और नो राइट जस्ट कीप टाइपिंग यस और नो वीएजी इज टू आई कैप यस और नो Yes, VBG is three I cap. Yes or no? VAB is VAG minus VIG. VBG, it's minus one I cap. Yes or no? Good. So now, with respect to an observer on B, with respect to an observer on B, right? A is moving in which direction? Minus one I cap, right? Minus one I cap. So, so, A के respect में B is moving. Sorry, B के respect में A is moving in the backward direction. So friction will oppose this motion and friction will act on A in the forward direction. Do I understand? Good. ठीक है. So. Aditya, thank you so much for being so concerned about me. Thank you so much. Genuinely, right? So friction is a force which opposes the relative motion. So the relative motion, they come, and then all of you see what is the tendency of relative motion. Have you ever pushed? Have you ever pushed an object in the a heavy object? Have you ever tried pushing a heavy object? Yes or no? And you are not able to. When you try pushing a heavy object, you are not able to move that heavy object because it's a very heavy object, right? So which, what is the force which is opposing your force? What is the force which is opposing your force? Obviously, that is the friction. And here there is a tendency of relative motion. So this is an almira here. This is a very heavy box or almira, you can say, right? And here you are pushing this almira. Okay? Ye aap ho. और आप इसको पुश करने की कोशिश कर रहे हो ठीक है एंड यू आर नॉट एबल टू मूव इट सो यू आर अप्लाइंग अ फोर्स ऑन दिस अलमीरा इन द फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन फ्रिक्शन इज इट हैज अ टेंडेंसी टू मूव बट इट इज नॉट मूविंग इट हैज अ टेंडेंसी टू मूव बट इट इज नॉट मूविंग सो फ्रिक्शन इज एक्टिंग इन द बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन रिलेटिव मोशन टेंडेंसी ऑफ रिलेटिव मोशन राइट इमेजिन इफ देयर इमेजिन इफ दिस बॉक्स इज इन एयर व्हाट विल हैपन इट विल मूव इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्स अप्लाइड राइट सो फ्रिक्शन विल एक्ट इन द बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड दिस और नॉट टेंडेंसी ऑफ रिलेटिव मोशन समझ आया बेटा सबको ठीक है सर गुड राइट सो नाउ नाउ सेकंड डेफिनेशन इज फ्रिक्शन फ्रिक्शन इज आल्सो द हॉरिजॉन्टल कंपोनेंट ऑफ रिएक्शन फोर्स नाउ प्लीज पे अटेंशन व्हाई फ्रिक्शन कम्स इन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्रिक्शन कम्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ The interlocking of the irregular surfaces, right here, the box is kept on a table, and here it is interlocking with the irregular surface of the table. The black colored line is the table,
Now, because of this, what happens is because of this, what happens is the there is a force exerted by the table on the block. This force, reaction force, is exerted by the table on the block, right? So this is the reaction force. Okay. Now this reaction force has two components. One is the vertical component. The other one is the horizontal component. Vector component is called as Okay, eleven and twelve standard children. Right. So this is lambda, and this component, the vertical component, is called as normal reaction, and the horizontal component is called as friction. Right. So friction is also the horizontal component of reaction force. This lambda is called as angle of friction. Okay. All of you, you understood or not? Vignesh Bharse, you are which standard? Okay. You have not done kinematics, Vignesh. No worries. Vignesh, one more time. You know anything about it? You, you must be sitting there. Bus or train? तो तुम्हारे रिस्पेक्ट में बाहर वाले जो लोग होते हैं वो पीछे जा रहे होते हैं जाते हैं नहीं जाते हैं अगर वो खड़े हो तो ट्रेन में हो तो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द पीपल आर मूविंग इन द बैक डायरेक्शन राइट सो व्हेन समवन एज अ वेलोसिटी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू यू दे आर इन रिलेटिव मोशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू यू ठीक है अंडरस्टैंड नॉट दैट इज व्हाट इज रिलेटिव मोशन सो दिस वाज ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस और नॉट जस्ट आई गेस ऑन नो आई डिडंट गेट एनी रिस्पोंसेस फॉर दिस ओके दैट्स ग्रेट सो दिस वाज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्राइमरीली द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फ्रिक्शन राइट नाउ लेट्स मूव अहेड इसको यहां कर लेते हैं ठीक है सो नाउ वी हैव इट इज ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स फर्स्ट इज स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन काइनेटिक फ्रिक्शन एंड रोलिंग फ्रिक्शन फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड नाउ व्हाट इज द स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन It opposes these three definitions. It opposes the tendency of relative motion. So tendency का मतलब क्या होगा? When you are pushing the heavy almira, imagine this. You are pushing heavy almira, and it is not able. You are not able to move it. So the force which is opposing your force is the static friction. Why it is called static? Because the bodies are at rest with respect to each other. Why it is called static? Because the bodies are at rest with respect to each other. It is self-adjusting. It is self-adjusting. I give you one example. Have you ever think like this? You are you are trying to move that heavy object. Initially you applied it some force which is very small, and then you kept on increasing that force, and you are strong enough that at some point in time you are able to move that object. Has it ever happened to you? Has it ever happened to you? Yes or no? मैं हिंदी में भी बोल देता हूं आप एक बहुत हेवी ऑब्जेक्ट को पुश करने की कोशिश कर रहे हो एंड यू आर ट्राइंग टू मूव इट इनिशियली क्या होता है आपको बहुत धीरे-धीरे धक्का देते हो थोड़े कम फोर्स के साथ धक्का देते हो एंड आफ्टर दैट यू स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग योर फोर्स एंड आफ्टर अ सर्टेन टाइम यू आर एबल टू मूव इट एज इट एवर हैपेंड टू यू ऑन टाइप यस और नो ऑफ कोर्स यस राइट ऐसा हुआ होगा बहुतों के साथ हुआ है रिस्पॉन्ड करो बेटा तभी मैं तुमसे इंटरेक्ट इसीलिए कर रहा हूं राइट सो दैट इज व्हाई दैट इज व्हाई वी से दैट इट इज अ सेल्फ एडजस्टिंग फोर्स इट वाज द फ्रिक्शन वाज अ वेरिएबल देयर और वो कंटीन्यूअसली बैकवर्ड लग रहा था एट सम पॉइंट इन टाइम इट गिव अप या भाई हो गया मेरा दिस इज द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू व्हिच आई कैन अप्लाई एंड नाउ यू गो अहेड सो दैट्स व्हेन द ऑब्जेक्ट स्टार्ट मूविंग सो आई गिव यू वन एग्जांपल आराम से सीखो कोई कोई हड़बड़ी नहीं है बट प्लीज सीखो ठीक है सो हियर इज द एग्जांपल Just pay attention, right? So this is a block of mass two kg. Okay, and we are applying a force capital F here. The coefficient of friction is mu s, and this is equal to point two. Okay. Now, obviously, with respect to ground, ground pe khade hoye aadmi ko, with respect to ground, this man will observe that this block is going in the forward direction, right? So relative motion of this man with respect to ground is in the forward direction, so friction will act in the backward direction. All of you agree to this? Yes or no? Agree, right? Now, what are the other forces acting here? The other forces which are acting here is mg downwards, right? Which is 2g. Please pay attention. Okay? नहीं भी पढ़ा है तो भी समझ में आएगा बेटा ऐसा नहीं नहीं आएगा. And normal reaction is upwards, right? Ground is applying the force in the upward direction and m is weight is applying the force in the weight is in the downward direction. So now we have n minus 2g. Net force in the upward direction. If someone pulls you up with n and pulls you down with 2g, the net force acting upwards is what? N minus 2g. This is equal to zero because there is no vertical motion. So we have n is equal to 2g, right? Now. What is the value of F S max? That is maximum static friction. So it is mu s the coefficient. So we say coefficient of static friction. Okay. So this is equal to mu s times normal reaction n. So this is point two into two g, and this is what take g as ten newtons. Take g as ten meters per second square. So four newtons is the maximum value of friction. All of you understood till this point on our type yes or no? If you have understood it, type yes. Good. Shabash. Now, now, if I say capital F is zero. What will be the value of friction here? It will be zero, right? Self-adjusting. If f is one, what will be the value of f? Small f one. If this is two, this will be two. If this is three, this will be three. If this is four, this will be four. All of you agree to this or not? Type yes or no. Agreed? Hey na? So is it a self-adjusting or not? Well, you are adjusting it. But as soon as capital F exceeds four, what will happen? The interlocking will break, right? The bonds will break, and the object starts sliding, right? So when f is greater than four, the block will start sliding, right? And that is when a different type of friction comes in. That is when a different types of friction, type of friction comes in. So this f is greater than four. I am doing the same case. This s, this f is greater than four newtons. And here another force will come, which is f k. That is kinetic friction. Kinetic का मतलब moment होता है, ठीक है? So kinetic friction. And this again is equal to. It is not a self-adjusting force. It is equal to mu k times n, right? Let's say mu k here is. Let's say mu k here is 0.18. So we have it's 0.18 into 2 g, or it is 3.6 newtons, right? So I can call this static friction. Please pay attention, beta. F S को मैं बोल सकता हूँ इट इज लाइन बिटवीन एफ एस मैक्स एंड जीरो एंड कैपिटल एफ एंड एफ के इज अस्टेंट फोर्स विच इज न्यू के एन हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ एस मैक्स इज ऑलवेज गिवन एज इट इज प्रपोर्शनल टू एन एंड इट इज ऑलवेज गिवन एज न्यू एस टाइम्स एन वट इज दिस एफ के न्यू के वट इज दिस न्यू के इट इज कोफिशियंट ऑफ स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन इट्स कोफिशियंट ऑफ 
Sorry, kinetic friction. How many of you understood this? Type yes or no. If you have understood it, the kinetic friction and the static friction, please type yes or no. There are how many people are there? There are 39 people here. If any one of you have not understood, please type. Please tell me, right? At least relative motion will not come. But you will tell me that vector is velocity. Is not going to come. Next level. So, so, so let's go back to our mind map. So we have seen that static friction is it opposes the tendency of relative motion. Kinetic friction is what it opposes the relative motion between the bodies. When there is actual slipping between the two bodies, right? The kinetic friction comes in. We have already seen that bodies move with respect to each other. Any any doubts in this data? Any doubt? Or if you have no doubts, like no doubts till this point. Very good. Very good. Now comes rolling friction. It appears in rotational motion. Mr. Shrutik says, "Sir, first, second point. Okay, bodies are at rest with respect to each other. This is what you want me to explain, Shrutik." Yes or no? If this is the case, okay, horizontal component. You are not there when I talk. Right? Okay. Shrutik, what is happening? Shrutik, how sir? What is happening? The block, any object, surface is kept on moving. There is, there are two types of forces acting. There are, uh, there is two types of arrangements here. One is the interlocking between the irregular surfaces and the bonding, interatomic bonding, right? ऐसे होता है ठीक है एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस देर इज रिएक्शन फोर्स ये रिएक्शन फोर्स जो है इसका एक कंपोनेंट यहां एक कंपोनेंट यहां होता है और इसको हम फ्रिक्शन बोलते हैं ठीक है ये मैंने समझाया था इसमें तुम्हें क्या चैलेंज बेटा मुझे बताओ बी मोर एलैबोरेट इन योर डाउट व्हाटएवर डाउट यू हैव बी मोर प्रिसाइज राइट सो रोलिंग फ्रिक्शन इज व्हाट रोलिंग फ्रिक्शन इज व्हाट वी विल बी डूइंग व्हेन वी विल लर्न अबाउट रोटेशनल बॉडी डायनामिक्स इसकी हर जरूरत नहीं बट इट्स अ टाइप ऑफ फ्रिक्शन दैट्स व्हाई आई मेंशनड हियर राइट सो टिल दिस पॉइंट नन ऑफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स सो लेट्स मूव अहेड ठीक है द थर्ड पॉइंट इज हाउ टू फाइंड द रिएक्शन ऑफ फ्रिक्शन वेरी इंपोर्टेंट राइट सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग पॉइंट बाय पॉइंट एंड ऑल ऑफ यू कीप डूइंग इट राइट विद मी So separate the surfaces in which you want to see the friction from each other. Okay. So let's go back to our slides, and here we are. Please pay attention, and we are doing it right. This is the case. So these are the two blocks, and here, okay, there is a friction between these two blocks. This is point two. There is no friction between the lower block and the ground. This is two kg block. This is three kg block, and we are applying a force capital F here, right? Now, where will the friction exist? Which are the surfaces where the friction is acting? Please type your responses. Which are the forces where friction is acting? Friction kaha kaha lag raha hai? Okay, Krishna says between the blocks, between the blocks. Okay, on three kg block backwards. Okay, let me tell you. Okay, be very precise. There are two surfaces here. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of no ground. No, no, no. Ground is frictionless. Okay, so it's bottom. Sorry, it's bottom of two kg and top of three kg. There is a friction acting, right? Okay, now bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and top of three kg. Bottom of two kg and Let's see what is the second step. So we have separated it. Let's go back to the second step. Observe the relative motion of each surface with respect to the surface with which it is in contact. Read it twice. Observe the relative motion of each surface. So if it is the bottom of two kg block, observe it with respect to three kg block with which it is in contact. Right. So let's see. So with respect to three kg block, what is the direction of motion of two kg block? All of you, write your responses. With respect to three kg block, where is the two uh, kg block going? Towards positive x-axis or negative x-axis? Forward. Chalega. Forward. Forward. Chalega. Very good. So now relative motion. Definition of friction says that. Friction will oppose the relative motion of this block. So this is the direction of friction on two kg block. All of you agreed or not? Type agreed. Wow, excellent, excellent. You are just an awesome audience. Because मजा आ गया पढ़ाई करने को. Thank you so much. Now, Newton's third law. Yesterday we read Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction, and action reaction pair reaction two different bodies. So if this was the action of action reaction pair, reaction क्या लगेगा? Where will the reaction act? It will act in the opposite direction, right? On the second body. So this is the direction of friction on three kg block. They will be equal and opposite. Yes or no? Understood? The direction of friction. All of you. Friction will oppose this relative motion. Wow, amazing. Shabash. So this was. ये वही लिखा है फ्रिक्शन विल अपोज दिस रिलेटिव मोशन इट इज इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ स्टैटिक और काइनेटिक दिस इज मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट व्हेदर इट इज स्टैटिक और काइनेटिक इट डजंट मैटर हियर इट्स इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ स्टैटिक और काइनेटिक दिस इज हाउ यू कैन फाइंड द रिलेशन ऑफ फ्रिक्शन नाउ टेल मी अभी वी हैव नॉट डन द न्यूमेरिकल सॉल्विंग पार्ट बट यू गॉट अ हैंग ऑफ दिस टॉपिक ऑल नॉट इन नाउ टाइप यस ऑन इफ यू गॉट इफ यू अंडरस्टूड द ओवरऑल ब्रॉडर पर्सपेक्टिव ऑफ फ्रिक्शन हाउ टू फाइंड द रिलेशन व्हाट इज फ्रिक्शन समझ आया बेटा सबको दिस इज हाउ यू ड्रॉ द फाइनल आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग द रिलेवेंट इंफॉर्मेशन आई एम नॉट राइटिंग पोथी मैं दिस दो चार पैराग्राफ लिख रहा हूं राइट आई एम जस्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग इट टू यू एंड वी आर जस्ट मेकिंग द माइंड मैप सो दिस इज व्हाट यू विल लर्न दिस इज हाउ यू लर्न इट वेरी क्विकली जस्ट टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ इट जस्ट टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ इट एंड देन आई मूव टू हाउ टू सॉल्व द न्यूमेरिकल सॉल्विंग एल्गोरिथम On a count of three, right? I move to shift to the other side. So one, two, and three. Okay, chal. So, this ko thoda sa main minimize kar deta hu, and then we will move ahead. Okay. So, this is how to solve problems in fiction. Okay, and especially block problems. We are discussing block problems. Okay. So now, it says. So this is the exam. This is the question here. The same question, right? Fiction direction ko pata chal gaya hai. Okay. I'll draw it again for you. Don't worry. We will learn it nicely. So these are the two blocks here. Okay. And we are applying a force capital F here. And this force has a value of ten newtons. Okay, this block is two kg. This block is of mass three kg. There is friction coefficient mu is equal to zero point two, and there is no friction between the three kg block and the ground. Okay, you have to find the question is find the acceleration, find the acceleration of both the blocks.
Draw the free body diagram. Please pay attention. Free body diagram. Those of you who are in 11th standard and don't understand the thing about free body diagram, it's about drawing the forces on it, right? How many forces go draw it? Right? So this is the capital F force which is acting here. Then there is this 2 kg block, 2 g downwards. Then there is this normal reaction exerted by 3 kg block on 2 kg block N1. This is 2 g. There is friction here. F1, right? And there is this friction, not F1. We don't need this F1 here. So this is a capital F, sorry, F here. Action reaction pair. And and this 2 kg block is giving back this normal reaction N1 to 3 kg block. Action ka reaction. This was action. This is the action. Understood or not? This 2 kg block is applying a force N1 in the downward direction. Right? Type yes or no? Type yes or no? Then 3 kg, 3 g downwards. And normal reaction exerted by the ground on the 3 kg block is N2 upwards. How many of you? Sir, can you represent friction as FR? It would be confusing. Will it be 3 meters per second square for the top block? Kadambari, I. <laughs> Chalo. Put it in Wait, just wait for it. Okay, friction is FR. Okay? Friction is FR. Got it. Now. Second step. Right? What is the second step? Check. First second, okay. Draw the free body diagram. Find the maximum friction. So we have to find the maximum friction. Wait a second, wait a second. So here we are. So FR max. That is static friction, right? Actually, so R is in the vitamin because static friction. So FS max likhne mein hai. So this is FS, right? Abhi FS liya hua hai. Nahin, nahin. Abhi FS mein. It's F only. Small F. I keep saying small F, don't worry. Shitika. So FS max is what? It's mu times N1. See, remember this, all of you. You need to take the normal reaction of that surface only on which the friction is acting. Don't take this N2 here. Take only N1, right? So N1 is equal to what? Just now we have seen N1 is equal to 2 kg, 2 g. So N1 minus 2 g is equal to 0. So N1 is equal to 2 g. So this is, this is mu is what? 0.2. N1 is what? 2 g. So this is 4 newtons. Right? FS max done. Step 1, free body diagram. Step 2, FS max. If I tell you to draw free body diagram, all of you can try it. If you don't, if you are not able to try it, you can ask. Is that not I'll teach. Second step, to find FS max. It's very easy, right? Now, next step. Now we are using methods, right? To find the acceleration. Assume the blocks together in one system. So when the blocks are considered together in one system, right? What will happen? Check. So we are assuming, we are doing method 1 here. Okay? And we are assuming that these two blocks are moving together. And when they are moving together, when you assume it like this, then remember, when you are using, when you are assuming it like this, then remember that they will have a common acceleration. They will have a common acceleration and the friction will become an internal force. They will have a common acceleration and the friction will become an internal force. Yes or no? All of you. Understood or not? When they are moving with same acceleration, when they are moving together, they will move with common acceleration. Yes or no? Yes. And then you can the force which is accelerating it, right? Good. So now we have, now we have, the net force acting in the forward direction is 10 newtons, right? And the, what is the mass of the system? 2 plus 3, 5a. So this is 10 is equal to 5a and a is what? 10 by 5, which is 2 meters per second square. This is the acceleration of the block, right? Now, after the second step, find the common acceleration done. Check for the friction acting at each surface. Now find the value of friction, find the value of friction for this acceleration. See, friction here is an internal force, right? Friction here is an internal force. So now you need to find the value of friction for this acceleration. Hindi me now, you have to find the value of friction, aapko friction ki value nikalni padegi, is acceleration ke liye. Kaha se nikalni ke, how will we do that? Using this diagram, check, using this diagram. Friction is the only force which is moving this 3 kg block in the forward direction, yes or no? Friction is the only force which is moving in the, which is moving this 3 kg block in the forward direction, right? Yes. So let's find the value of friction from this diagram. So F is equal to 3 into acceleration A, which is 3 into 2, which is 6 newtons. This is friction. Yes? Now when you assume that these two blocks will move together, is it an FS or not? Is it a static friction or not? Yes, it's a static friction. So can I write it as FS only? Now check whether this FS is less than or equal to FS max. The 6 newton, is it less than or equal to 4 newtons? No. No, right? So this is how we check whether our assumption was correct or not. So let's go back to the algorithm. Here we are. Check for the friction at each surface. Now it says if it is less than maximum friction, agar wo maximum friction se kam hai, then our assumption is correct. If it is less than maximum friction, then our assumption is correct. If it is not, then the objects are sliding over each other. So let's go back to our answer, our, our slide, the whiteboard. Was it less than or equal to FS max? No. So our assumption is wrong. 6 newton is not less than F 4 newton. Abita. It is not less than. So our assumption that these two blocks will move together is wrong. And what will happen now? What will happen now? These blocks will slide over each other. These blocks will slide over each other. And they will have different accelerations now. I hope all of you understood this fact. Yes or no? Understood or not? So if we draw the free body diagram of horizontal, horizontal forces only, so this is how it will look like. So here it will be FK now. It will be FK. This is capital F. This is FK, right? FK can be approximated as FS max if mu k is not given to you. So this block will have a different acceleration A1 and this block will have a different acceleration A2. Right force equation for the top block. It's capital F minus FK is equal to 2 into A1. So this is 10 minus 2K. Sorry, 10 minus FS max is what? 4 is equal to 2 into A1. So A1 is 6 by 2 or it is 3 meters per second square. Kadamba, you are correct. Right? And what about the second one? It's FK is equal to 3 into A2. So from here I get A2 as 4 by 3 meters per second square. Tick. Understood? So you check that. You, you first you assume that both of them are moving together. Then you check it with the value of friction between them. Since it was greater than the value of maximum friction, which, can, which it cannot be, so the blocks were slipping over each other. Understood or not? Simple steps and easy to follow. Yes or no? Just type yes or no. If you have understood it, type yes. Understood? If you have not, type no. All of you, please type understood or not. Yes or no? Okay. Udita says, uh, please briefly explain again. Okay, Udita. I like go step by step again, okay? 
Now, but first of all, but first of all, all of you understood this, right? So what if, what if my question to all of you is, when I'll explain to Vita, uh, by that time, you are, I'm giving you a word to do, right? If you would have done this method first, if you have solved the question using this method first, if you have solved this method first, right? How would you have checked that this, these answers are correct or not? Kadamri, this is for you. If you have solved this question by this method, right? How will you check whether these, these data, these answers are correct or not? See, here we check by this method, right? By finding the value of friction. But how will we check it here? So now, Udita, please pay attention. This is for you. See, we have this block. Udita, from where do you want me to explain? From the very free body diagram? Last part. So this FS part? Yes. Udita, see, for this acceleration, we calculated the value of friction from this diagram. This diagram, what is FS is equal to 3 into A, right? This is the force which is responsible for the forward motion of this block. Yes or no, Udita? Yes. So that force is equal to what? FS is equal to, that was FS, right? Static friction. Because the blocks were not moving with respect to each other. So that is equal to 3 into A. So 3 into 2, 6 newtons. So you check whether it is less than or equal to 4 newtons or not. So what happened? 6 newtons is not less than 4 newtons. Na? So our assumption is wrong. That these two blocks will move together was our assumption. And that is now wrong. So what will be the other assumption? They will sleep over each other. So we solve this. Clear? Yes or no, Deepta? Chalo. Wow, Kadamari, if you have done it, excellent. Achha, sliding part. Sliding part, there are no assumptions, Deepta. Assumption tab hota hai, Deepta. Assumption tab hota hai, jab, when you are not sure ki kya hoga. Now we are sure that they will not move together. They will slip over each other. So this is the case. See, FK, FK will act in the backward direction, FK will act in the forward direction of 3kg block. So next force in the forward direction is F minus FK, which is equal to 2 into A1. FS max is, in this block, 3kg block. It's, FK is 3 into A2, so A2 is 4 by 3. Now, any one of you figure out how to check this part? Any one of you? We have many students here. Aditi, Ajay, Ankit, Aniket, Ajita, Shritika. Shishir, Udipta. Okay, Dhruv, 10 Newton is acting on the top block. Upper value block will be like that, right? See? This 10 K Newton is acting on the top block. You can see the diagram. Now, if you have, all of you, please pay attention. If you have done the question with this part, right? Check, check. Okay, I'll give you a situation. I'll give you a situation. Imagine this thing, all of you. Imagine this thing that there is a big table in your home. Okay, a table in And on that table, a box is kept. Right? And you are, you, are, you are tied a rope to the leg of the table and you are pulling that table towards you. Okay? You are pulling the table towards you. Will the block come to you first or the table? Type your answer. Are you going to pull the table? The table will come or the block will come first to you. Of course, table, right? Are you going to pull the table? You are pulling the table. So when the force which... Are you going to pull the table? Depends on how fast you pull it. I will pull it very fast. However fast I pull. Only the table will come to me faster. Yes or no? All of you. You keep a box on the table and try pulling the table with a rope. The table will come faster to you. Right? Okay, table. Shritika, I haven't come here. Right? Here, the same thing happens. Right? You are applying a force here. See? You are applying a force here, right? On which block you are applying a force? On the 2 kg block. It should have... It should have an acceleration greater than the acceleration of the lower block. 2 kg block here is an acceleration of 3 meters per second square. And that acceleration is greater than 4 by 3 meters per second square. Understood all of you? Yes or no? Yes, right? Now, I'll give you an example also. Just pay attention, all of you. Take example, karte hai. same data. I'll just change a little bit, right? I'll change this data a little bit and we will do a question, right? This capital F force acting here is now equal to 5 newtons. This capital F force acting here is now 5 newtons. And now we are assuming, and now we are assuming that the blocks are moving with different accelerations. Now we are assuming the blocks are moving with different accelerations, so there is sliding between them, right? Now, when we solve it here, this is the equation, okay? Capital F minus FK is 2A1. So here it is 5 minus 4 is equal to 2A1. So A1 is equal to what? 1 by 2 meters per second square. Or it is 0.5. And this is how much? This remains the same. This is approximately 1.33. Yes or no? Now is this answer correct or wrong? Is these answers 0.5 and 1.33 correct or wrong? Is the assumption correct or wrong? The blocks are moving with different accelerations. Is the acceleration correct? Are, Shishir, why it is correct? It's wrong. Shishir, Vita, just pay force lagega, just pay force lagega, uska acceleration zada hona chahiye tha. Yaha pe kya hai? 0.5 hai or 1.33 hai? Check karo. All of you, the assumption was correct or wrong? Type, type, type your answers, type your responses. Wrong, right? So now, the other method is correct. That you will assume that both of them are moving together. Clear? So now tell me, take a screenshot of this. First of all, take a screenshot of this. Sorry, just a second. Take a screenshot of this. No, you do it by one method. You do it by one method. And see, if you solve 20 questions based on this, uh, based on this procedure, na, after 20 questions, you'll be able to click you that yes, ye hoga, ye hoga. So most of the times, you'll be uh, getting the correct assumptions. Okay? But this is methodical. You have to follow each and every step and believe me, you will never be wrong. And 90% of the questions in friction contain block questions. String ka ek alag se ek next level ka case ho jata hai. Hai. String has a different condition, one different condition, and rest is fine with the strings also. Right? But this, using this method, using this uh, algorithm, you can always solve any 90 more than 90% problems in friction. Okay? So if you have taken the uh, uh, screenshot, take a screenshot of this algorithm also. On a count of three. One, one, two, and three. Okay? Good. Now, how many of you think that if you learn using mind maps, your efficiency to learn, retain and retrieve will be much better than what it is now. You have just experienced one kind of mind map. How many of you really think that yes or no? The answer to this is yes or no. If you think this way, type yes. If you don't think, type no. 
Yes, most of you, right? Very good, all of you, in fact. And that using numerical solving algorithms will save a lot of time in exams and improve your accuracy. See, what is the most important challenge which you face? Uh, most the challenge